even before Andy Fickman met with Amanda Bynes at the Starbucks in Los Angeles to see if they would connect, the director was already a fan of her work on All That and The Amanda Show, which his son Austin watched growing up. One of my first jobs was doing development for Jen Wilder, and so there was a lot of type of comedy, a lot of Gilda Redner that I always remember seeing in Amanda at such a young age, thinking you don't teach someone that, Figman said. Casting what ifs. Figman remembered Jared Pedalzi being so great when he auditioned for a role, but he had just filmed the pilot for Supernatural, so our shadows weren't going to work. But he was wonderful and funny. And Fickman also recalled Pitch Perfect's Brittany Snow, delivering a really great audition, though she ended up landing a lead role in John Tucker Must Die, which filmed in Vancouver at the same time. Discovering a star. Prior to being cast as Duke, Channing Tatum had just one major film credit to his name, a small role in 2005, Coach Carter, but it was clear to Fickman and the rest of the team that he was bound to become, well, Channing Tatum. We were towards the end of casting. We had an eye on somebody who was already kind of involved in the pilot. We were looking at everybody for that role. And then he came in, Fickman said. Casting Sebastian. Early on in the filmmaking process, Fickman said producers did consider casting singer Jesse McCartney as Yola's twin brother Sebastian. You are trying to find an actor you can somewhat sell his similar bone structure and somewhat similar look to Amanda, he explained. Finding the right look for Sebastian. The hardest part of turning Amanda into Sebastian was finding the right wig for the star to sport because Amanda was so adorable that a lot of times if you went a little too long with the hair it just looked like she had a pixie cut, Fickman explained. We had to find that line between how do we still know that's Amanda and yet at the same time how do we make it feel like that is another character that she is playing. Soccer stars. While some of the other actors including Robert Hoffman and Brandon J. McLaren had some experience playing soccer. Amanda and Channing had to practice with a coach for weeks in order to film the action scenes. They really had to dig in and how great they were able to pull it off. The director said of his leads. The onset crush. While there were once rumors about a possible romance between Channing and Amanda, back in the day, Fickman said, He never saw like, oh, that person is in love with this person, or someone had a crush on so and so. But he did go on to admit, everybody had a crush on Channing. The actor who auditioned for every role. Fickman joked that Jonathan Sadowski, who ultimately played Paul, Avila's best friend and hairstylist, can do one man, she is a man show because he auditioned for every role in the movie. I wasn't having much luck with Paul, and Jonathan just stepped out and certainly showed how creative he was in terms of auditioning, he added. Lots of improv. While Karen McCullough lads and Kirsten Smith delivered a hilarious script, the actors were encouraged to improvise. We allowed the cast to play, Fickman said adding that the actor who played the most was David Cross as Principal Gold. I don't think any of it was on the paper, Figma revealed. The cast were super close. Because they were filming in Vancouver, the cast and crew all stayed in the same hotel. So on weekends we really tried to keep everybody together, Figman said. He went on to share one of his favorite memories of the cast going to see Mr. and Mrs. Smith in theaters when an unexpected advertisement played before the film.